fermentation allows for the, ex the experience to ferment lots of different things, so lots of different flavors. But I think for an initial lively fermented food, a fermented salsa is really the way to go. There's something about that combination of tomato, onion, you know, it's, it's something we're all quite familiar with. And when you ferment it, it just makes it into a very lively, giddy food. It's, it's a wonderful one to start with, yeah. Through the process of fermentation, we have something rather amazing that happens. You're turning a simple food into a superfood. It's essentially food for the gods. So, you know, really without questioning it too much, you should all be doing it. Kafir, it's a, it's a really f fantastic fermented food. I think at the initial discovery of it, or our re-interest in it, shall we say, um, we had an understanding that it was quite highly probiotic and beneficial. But as more and more scientific research is going on, they're finding you know, it's really rather complex in terms of the beneficial bacteria that's in there. So for what is essentially you know, quite a nutrient-rich food to be pre to be fermented and therefore pre-digested for us, it's really given us an amazing profile of nutrients and you know, these live organisms, these live probiotics.